In this week's episode, we take you to Golden Valley, Arizona, all the way to Boren, Texas. I think that's how you pronounce it. You will find us spending the nights at Harvest Hosts, Walmarts, and regular cam campgrounds, whatever we can find along the way, which sometimes is easier said than done. We stopped along the way at Keepers of the Wild Sanctuary, the Petrified Forest, and Bunker Branding. So we are at the Keepers, oops, Keepers of the Wild Wildlife Park, where they have rescued wild animals and give them a better future, I guess. I think we'll see. Yeah, we don't so, know yet. We haven't gone in, but exactly. So we'll find out. Here comes one of those. Supplies. Let's go get our tickets and let's go in. So this is a National Wildlife Federation certified wildlife habitat. Ooh, that's a mouthful. I strongly suggest taking the guided tour on this in this park. They give you the backstory of most of these animals. Um, many of these animals are retired um, show animals um, or house pets that have been declawed. They can no longer go back to the wild. Um, very sad, uh, but um, it was very good to see how well they were taking care of these animals and how loved they were. We had all intentions of staying here in Arizona for a month. And then we got notification from Florida DMV that they yet needed something else to get our truck licensed. So, as I have next week off, and today is Tuesday, we are going to start making little hops, and then next week, bigger hops, <laughs> to make it back to Florida. And get this beauty licensed. Pain in the, uh, you know what, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Besides that, it's nice and warm in Florida, so it's not too bad. Holbrook, Arizona, and we're staying at the KOA. And we thought, well, let's go for a walk and go grab some Chinese food, sit down, relax, blah, blah. What we get here and it's takeout only. So <laughs> uh, we're waiting for our food and then we'll be walking back <laughs> with our food. That was after I had my heart set on Mexican food and they're closed on Wednesdays. It's not a good day. <laughs> and it's windy on top of it. It's just not cool. That's true. There's our dinner. And the KOA is somewhere behind there. In 1906, Theodore Roosevelt created the Petrified Forest National, National Monument, and in 1962, the Petrified Forest became a national park. It's amazing that water formed this petrified tree bridge, and now with the gully and the water coming through that little gully right here, eventually it will destroy it. It is hard to believe that this dry landscape at one point 225 million years ago, was a tropical landscape. As trees died, they were carried downstream and were covered by layers of sediment. The dead trees would soak up the groundwater and silica from volcano ash, and this created what we now know as the petrified forest with its trees that crystallized into quartz. And the crazy thing, these trees still feel like trees. All right, so our plan after the petrified forest was to um, spend the night here because you can boondock in their um, parking lot. Thank you, baby. And, um, well, I have no signal and I have to work tomorrow. So we are just going to um, wing it. Wing it and head south. All right. And there we go. There's a whole lot of nothing in front of us. 
As Stephen is driving, I am trying to find us a place to stay for the night using the app Campendium. It was kind of difficult because reception wasn't great to begin with either. We keep on driving and there is really nothing on this road other than absolutely beautiful sunsets. Well, as you can tell, it's totally dark now. And normally we find something pretty close, but so far no luck. So I found a, um, a rest area. So that's what we're gonna go check out, see how, uh, how it looks and if it's nothing, we'll keep driving, I guess. <laughs> All right, this is where we ended up last night in, I believe it's Socorro, um, New Mexico, somewhere off of I-25. This is where we spend the night. And I must say, Walmart parking lots are not a bad place to stay. Just make sure you call ahead and see if they allow overnight parking. Not Because not all of them do. Peeps is impatiently waiting for us to um, finish up putting everything away. Steven's almost done with it. I just finished work. So my week vacation and our week long drive officially starts now. Heading to our harvest host. Just in time before the sun sets. Yeah, this is really the second harvest host we're checking out for tonight. The first one was um, questionable. <laughs> to say says, Pull behind the brewery. It's back there. And it was. It was a dirt lot behind a probably 50, 60 year old building. Yeah, it downtown. Wasn't. It, it didn't. Nah. Not really nah. where I want to start my vacation. Just come. So we are heading to a winery. This is the Mesa Vista Winery Harvest Host. It's a small boutique winery. Uh, I believe they grow some of their grapes, but I am not sure. I know they do buy grapes and make their wine from that. I have two bottles and I'm sure I'll let you know before the, this week is over to let you know how the wine was. I was wondering what he would do if he saw that. <laughs> no, not doing it? Good boy. It's nine o'clock in the morning. And whatever we drive today, we don't have to drive tomorrow. So we'll see where we end up and um, go from there. Saturday morning, we started to drive through Texas. And boy, you have no idea how big Texas is until you actually start to drive through Texas. At this point, I don't even think we were halfway through the state. And we stopped in Bourne, Texas. And too tired to look for a place to stay, Walmart it was. To my delight, there were three Mexican restaurants around that Walmart and they were all open. This guy was the first one I started watching on YouTube. Funny, cute, and a vet. What's not to love? So we had to check out his new storefront bunker branding. We'll go let him know what spot we picked and then we will sign up for the cave tour. And that's about it. Thank you so much for coming along on our drive to Florida. The more the merrier, right? If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. If you have ideas or suggestions on places we should visit, absolutely, we'd love to hear. And as always, stay happy, healthy, and safe. Love you guys.